GW Fins is the freshest seafood you'll find anywhere here in New Orleans or across the country. Located at 808 Bienville in the French Quarter, right by Bourbon Street. GW Fins Bar has great atmosphere and a wide variety of specialty drinks. And we're open for dinner seven nights a week from 5.30 on. Fine dining. And if you're planning a special event, GW Fins can handle from 10 to 200. And we have a gorgeous dining room, but we're most proud of what's in the kitchen. So let's get back there and start cooking. Don't be so excited. All right, what I've got here today is a little redfish fillet. And in restaurants, we use farm-raised redfish. Um, this is just barely legal limit, which is really a great eating size. And I'm going to season that just with a little salt and pepper. Actually, a fair amount of salt and pepper. And I'm going to dust it in a little bit of flour just to keep it from sticking. Not much, not really breading it. Put a little bit of oil. In this case, it's olive oil. It could be canola oil. And a little bit of butter. Okay, we've got some local ingredients. We've got some oysters, got some tasso. Actually, I don't know how local the spinach and the mushrooms are, but uh, we're just going to saute them very quickly and serve them with our fish. It's, uh, you get a nice saltiness from the tasso that goes real well with the oysters. The mushrooms are kind of a counterpoint to the spinach. It all works real well together. I'm going to start with my mushrooms since they take the longest to cook. I like leaving these shiitakes whole. I just think they, uh, they cook up better that way. All right, my mushrooms are about half done. I'm going to add some of the ham. And I'm going to add another little more piece of butter. And it looks like more spinach than you're going to need. The spinach shrinks down a tremendous amount. My, my redfish is about ready to turn here. My spinach is about half cooked. I'm going to cover that up a little bit, let it steam. My spinach is about half cooked. I'm going to add the other half of my tasso and my oysters. See, everything is almost entirely done before I add the oysters because I really don't want to cook them for very long at all. See, the edges are starting to curl on those oysters a little bit. They're done. That's all you want. All right, and that little thin piece of redfish is done, too. Okay, right on the plate with that. A little bit of brown butter on there will be good. And then I'm just going to go over the top of the fish with the garnish. Of course, you could put that in the bowl and put the fish on top if you like, too, but I kind of like it this way better. And that is our quick and easy finished redfish dish with spinach, shiitakes, oysters, and pasta. GW Fins has dinner items so fresh, they print a new menu every day. Call Virginia and tell her CT said to give you the best seat in the house. Scouting paid off today. In less than two hours, I found a few fish, some beautiful conditions, and a lot of great potential fishing grounds. And just as the setting sun was about to bring the day to a close, I caught the ripple of a redfish doing a little fishing of his own. I gave Mickey, the cameraman, a little warning and sent the lure flying. I got you. Alright, get ready, boss. No guarantees, but I got him. He's still playing. Look at that. <laughs> we saw him, and I mean, Boom. get him, big rascal. All right, hold on, big boy. Hold on. Look at him. Now, I don't know if you just saw it, Rats Rascal. Come over here, buddy. Come over here, my man. But if you'll look down on this deck, when the fish is caught, He'll try to throw up, regurgitate, so that he can, whatever it is that he's got in his mouth, he doesn't want. Well, you look. This is going to be mullet. Here. That's a small finger mullet. And we'll get that out of here. And a small shrimp. We were using artificial. So, this is what he's been feeding on back here. Shrimp and bait fish. Not that hard to believe. Working the shorelines. 
points, pockets, moving water. This one actually just gave himself away. We saw him on the shoreline and uh, he made one little ripple. He was pushing up against the bank, probably looking at a fiddler crab. And we got him. Uh, made a cast. I mean, I must have, must have put it right in front of his mouth because as the bait hit, the line took off out into the deeper water. So that's scouting. Four fish. You know, we don't do, I don't think we've ever done a television show where we only bring you four fish. But what it shows you is how to go into a new area, how to look for the fish, how to sort of make sure that you get through it safely, how you navigate it, you know, responsibly so that you don't hurt your boat or get stuck on the mud and spend the night there. But man, calm down. You know, sun's going down. We left at 4.30. It's 6.30. We had enough time to make it home with enough light with four fish. Now, would I take a charter back here tomorrow? Probably not. Probably want to work this area a little bit more. Do I know their fish back here? Are the conditions right? Is the bait right? You know, is the depth right? Yes. Do I think that there are more fish back here? Yes. Wouldn't come back here with my friends or a charter unless I was just sight casting myself. But, good fish, plenty of opportunity, beautiful conditions, and what a great afternoon we had together. Now, that's Louisiana Wildlife for this week. Thank you for watching. If you want to do a little fishing like this, you give us a call at Team Big Fish. That's 504-610-6914. Ask for Barry. Let him book a trip with you. If you want to go to the Louisiana Charter Boat Association and get a captain who can put you on redfish like this from Lake Charles all the way to Lake Pontchartrain, it's LouisianaCharterBoatAssociation.com. And the free call for everybody who's not from the Louisiana area is a free call and a free brochure, 1-800-70-GUMBO. Doesn't cost you a dime and you'll get a booklet on all the great things you can do in Louisiana as well as to come down and catch fish like this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope, we, I hope you learned something. You know, Each week we try to leave you with a few tips. I hope we left you with a lot of tips this week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.